Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Friday, May 19th, 2023. And I am doing a video of a Subaru for a gentleman in Wilmington, uh, Nathan. This is a video of a Subaru Sambar for Nathan in Wilmington. It is a 19... It's so tough. I'm 56. <laughs> Here we go. A 1997 Subaru Sambar 4x4, 5 speed with extra low first gear. It has 30,482 miles. And it's a really nice truck. It's $8,200, I believe. And, yep. $8,200, and this is a video for Nathan in Wilmington. And so Nathan is a long-distance customer, and when somebody's not coming up here in person to see it, uh, we try to be very communicative. And this is part of our intensive communication process because we have a perfect track record. We don't really make the customer pay up front. They pay for it when we arrive. So if I drive to even Indiana or Miami, Florida, like I have been recently, or Vermont, um, and including Wilmington. I delivered uh, to Wilmington yesterday, and um, or the Outer Banks yesterday. And um, we, uh, we feel like it, you know, it's better for the customer if they don't have to pay for something they haven't actually seen. I believe in that, you know, because I wouldn't want to. And... Uh, and so it's on us to uh, <laughs> to buy good stuff, and um, to uh, if it doesn't run properly, we get it dialed in. If the heat doesn't work, we fix it. Uh, if the four wheel drive drive doesn't work, we fix it. Um, so it's on us to get all those things the right fashion, you know, like they ought to be, and um, and then show you every little scratch and blemish on the truck that could be considered a negative. And so that's kind of what the purpose of this is for, so that when we show up with the truck, you'll say, oh, my expectations are met, or perhaps your expectations will be exceeded uh, even better. Uh, and so we have a 100% success rate where we've never had anybody go, oh, that's not what I had in mind. That's not what I expected. That's never happened. So, um, you know, good on our process. I think it works well. So let's go ahead and let's get started. All right. <clears throat> so this is really a good looking, I can tell. You kind of see stuff enough times. You know, I've probably owned over 5,000 mini trucks um, and it, you can just instinctively know just by glancing at it almost okay so there is a ding right there very small very very small ding um, but other than that ding the whole front is just beautiful 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 the bumper's dirty, but it's nice. And mini truck bumpers aren't jet black. They're always that grayish, dark gray charcoal color. Um, but this is also dirty. The door, uh, a little pebble peck right there. Uh, the roof looks beautiful. The door, let's take a look here. Absolutely perfect. I mean, that is flawless. Tires are good. They're not great, but they're good. Here's your wheel well. <clears throat> Subaru frames are always black. I used to think somebody would paint them, and somebody may still be painting them. Um, in fact, that does look pretty darn black. But they are black to begin with. 
The bed looks really nice underneath. I mean, if the cargo area of the bed looks that good, we'll be in good shape. So it looks really nice underneath. Yep. Same kind of tires. These are Bridgestone light truck tires. Let's look at the bedside. The bedside is completely ding free. Now that is a remarkable story right there. You do have a ding right there though, in the corner. <coughs> the tailgate, man, the tailgate is completely ding free. That is uncanny. Because the tailgate typically is there to take the abuse. Another thing, you've got your plastic protector on that hinge. Those things usually disintegrate, but this truck actually has it present. Beautiful. 8200. This is a higher end truck. I can just tell you right now, because look at that bed. Um, so these chains here hook onto that right there. And then uh, we got another chain there. Hook onto that there. And now you can, you know, use your tailgate as an extension of the bed if necessary. Um, but I used to do this all the time. I do this to pan across and show you the integrity of the ribbing and the ribbing in this truck is magnificent and then i started this joke about these washers but it's you know everything everything that's funny has an element of truth in it so you notice these washers that one has a nick out of it that one has a nick out of it but not too terribly bad that one has a nick out of it, but not too terribly bad. And this one is whole. And I like to say the condition of the washers is a reflection of the condition of the truck. And so those washers look pretty good. So let's see if the truck looks pretty good. Really, I don't think we've had any dings except one on the front. One on the front, if I remember correctly. Uh, I know the tailgate was nice. And the side was nice. Oh, it did have a dent right there. A ding. So, okay. So it's not a perfect, flawless show truck ready for Alan Jackson. No, not Alan Jackson. Alan Barrett? Oh, I don't know. In Arizona. Alan Jackson was a country music singer. He actually bought a mini truck from us. Um, so we sold a mini truck to Alan Jackson. That's why I think I, I said his name and that was pretty that was pretty cool He calls up look at that. That's like absolutely gorgeous So I get the call. Hey, I need a mini truck and uh, You know, you've probably heard of uh, Heard of me Alan Jackson. I'm like actually no, I'm not a country music fan Okay, well have you heard of down by the Chattahoochee? No, I haven't what about Remember When or something? He named another another song. The bed is just remarkable. And I'm like, no, I really haven't. And normally that would make someone mad, but they rolled with it. And they bought the truck anyway. Um, and they bought a dump. So yeah, I sold a truck to Alan Jackson and I didn't even know who he was until I heard the song. Then I went <clears throat> and listened to the song and um, I'm like, of course I've heard that song, you know, and I felt just terrible. But all right. So <clears throat> this got a little smack at some point. And uh, so you've got that right there. The plastic on this looks really nice. So this truck is clean, clean, clean. Um This door looks really nice.
Let's see if it's completely ding free. It does appear to be ding free. The gas tank door, it is ding free. The gas tank door is sticking out a little bit. Um, and so it has a, uh, oh, it was open. Huh. Interesting. So it's just open. Um, I better figure out. Okay, so now let's look at the interior. The interior door panel looks very, very nice. The bottom of the door. The bottom of the door looks to be in very good condition. No rust. Let's look under the mat. Really nice. A little surface rust right there. But very nice. That black you see is adhesive. The seats are in very good condition. They look very nice. Headliner also looks great. So let's go ahead and let's take this for a drive. The door 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 panel over there looks good. So it fired right up. All right, so we are in two-wheel drive. To put it in a four-wheel drive on a Subaru, you just push that button down, and then that illuminates right there saying four-wheel drive. Push it again, and then you're back in two-wheel drive, which we are going to be driving on asphalt, so you always want to be in two-wheel drive. You don't ever want to operate a four-wheel drive on dry asphalt. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go around this curve and get it up to speed and then we'll come back up the hill and uh, test its power by putting it in fifth gear climbing the hill. <clears throat> get it up to speed a little bit here. Feels good at 60 miles per hour. Now we're going to turn it around and go back up the hill. Now we're in fourth gear, so we're going to go ahead and put it in fifth gear. Seventy kilometers per hour, and we're holding. And uh, climbing the hill and uh, holding at seventy. So let's see what happens. When we go around this curve and start out at 35 kilometers per hour, still in fifth gear. So, 
it's climbing speed. And that's really what you want to see going up a steep hill in fifth gear. And, you know, the fact that it's climbing speed, going up the hill, going very slowly in fifth gear is a good sign. Um, that means that it has good compression. And this engine here was like um, 30,500 miles, I think. And uh, so that's the reason that it still has good compression because it's just not, it's not worn out. Uh, there's a direct correlation between low miles and longevity and low miles and engine power. It's just less revolutions that that engine has turned. It's really that simple. Um, and uh, so, uh, Nathan, if you would like to purchase this truck, you have the first right of refusal. Uh, we'd love to sell it to you. And if you don't like the truck, then um, that isn't a failure. That's actually a success in a way because now you say, hey, that wasn't what I was expecting. And uh, then if, if that happens, then this truck will be for sale. Um, and I believe the price was $8,200. Yep, 8200 And um, we, uh, <clears throat> we've serviced the truck. Um, I may have already said that. Yeah, we used full synthetic oil. Uh, we changed the air filter, the oil filter. We um, got the law passed, making them street legal and signed into law by Governor Cooper. And uh, we, we, we fixed the four-wheel drive, the heat. Uh, if it doesn't work, we, we make sure that it runs properly. If it doesn't, uh, we have a service department. And um, then uh, if you have any questions about this truck, uh, I try to find a balance in my videos between not making them too long. And, and, and I, I want to try to add as much useful information. So if you guys can help me with that, <clears throat> I don't want to make my videos any longer than they are. But if there's information that I really am just missing, let me know. And uh, so, and uh, so, uh, there's our mail carrier. She's driving a right hand drive. And um, so, um, anyway, uh, oh, where was I? So, yeah, I don't want to make the videos any longer. But um, if there's something that I really should have in my videos that I don't, uh, let me know. And um, I appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel. Uh, that helps our search analytics and, um, and uh, hit the notification bell. That way you will know when we post a video. And uh, we got um, a shipment in not too long ago. We're getting another one in probably today or tomorrow. And, um, and then I uh, really am grateful that we have uh, the ability to sell these mini trucks to our customers. This is like one of the nicer trucks. Subaru also was kind of prescient. They um, they put storage back there, which is kind of cool. But not all Subarus have that. And not all Subarus have that. So this is kind of like a desk. This is kind of like the Subaru desk. You know, so you could fill out some paperwork there. Um, anyway, Subarus are great trucks, but you do have to be um, careful of not over revving your Subaru. Um, this is probably what makes the videos too long. Um, you have to be careful not to over rev the Subaru. Subarus are not perfect. Um, they do have some foibles. Um, over revving is the single most um, critical thing I can point out about a Subaru. And that's not really the fault of the Subaru. It's just so quiet and so smooth. It's so quiet because the engine's way in the back. And it's so smooth because it's a four-cylinder. It's the only truck that's a four-cylinder. does not have any more horsepower. It does not go faster. I get that all the time. It's no faster, has no more horsepower, but it's much smoother and much quieter. So people can over-rev their Subaru. Don't be one of those people. I've had five mini trucks with roasted engines. All of them have been Subarus. Um, so that means something. And it's not that Subaru makes a bad engine. It's just that you got to be careful when you drive it that you don't over rev your engine.
So I'm not trying to talk Nathan out of purchasing the truck, but I'm all about an educated consumer is our best customer, uh, for better or for worse. So um, our phone number is 336-777-9957. Our email address is sales at mayberryminitrucks.com. And our website is mayberryminitrucks.com. Thank you for watching our video.